Hello and welcome back to Workshop Wednesday. Thanks for joining me in my workshop. I'm Chelsea Bussemeyer. Today I want to tell you the secret to getting a princess seam to lay really, really beautifully. Now I use princess seams a lot and I advocate for them all the time just because if you want a close fit on any type of garment, they are a wonderful way to get it, especially if you're bigger busted, just because you already have kind of two darts built into the shaping because we're shaping on the top of the bust and underneath the bust. It's similar to uh, the fit that you would get if you had two darts. So we're spreading out uh, the uh, depth of our dart to really get a close fit amongst two places. So you're gonna have a better uh, shape or a closer shape to your body, a softer shape, and you won't be getting those kind of pointy darts that are often a problem when you're doing true darts. Now, when it comes to a princess seam though, the secret to know about how these seams work is you do need to be careful of where the two pieces, the front middle and the side panel, join together. If you stitch them one-to-one -one in the length of the stitch line, you will most often get a very sharp corner kind of along where that seam is, where those two fabrics join together, you're gonna get a point as well. And we don't want that either. We want a nice, soft, rounded transition across over the bust and uh, shaping around as it goes down into the body of the garment. The secret is simpler than you might think. It's simply adding a tiny little bit of extra length to the side panel. So what we wanna do is we wanna have a little bit of extra length on that side panel that we then ease in purely over the protrusion of the very uh, curve of the bus. So we don't wanna be adding right at the very top. If you have straps, I'm using a strapless gown as an example just because I'm working on it today, but it works on any kind of princess seam, whether you have straps or a high neck, whatever the case is. If you have a princess seam, if it's coming from the armpit, if it's coming down from the shoulder, wherever it's coming from, we don't want to be easing in extra length as we approach the bust. So once we get kind of to the actual curve over the bust, we want to ease in that extra little bit. And what I, the amount that I typically like to uh, do is kind of an eighth to a quarter of an inch. Um, so kind of uh, a quarter of a centimeter, to a half of a centimeter, maybe three quarters of a centimeter if you have a really full bust and this stitch line here uh, across over top of the bust is longer, then you might need to add a little bit more. Depending on the fabric that you have will also dictate whether you uh, can ease in more or less, but your fabric will tell you that. Uh, just make sure that you cut that little bit of extra and as you close this seam, you ease it over the bust. So let's hop on over to the table and see what this looks like with some separate pieces. I haven't sewn the lining together yet, so we could use it as an example. And we also, just one more quick note here, uh, we wanna stop that easing as we crest down to the waistline. From here down, we also don't wanna add in any extra uh, length or ease that material anymore. So we just wanna do it over the bust so that as these two corners come together, since we have a lot more contouring on this side panel uh, over the bus, it has a little bit extra length and it simply has a little bit of extra time to transition and round over rather than coming at a sharp angle. Just wanna zoom in here quick one more time before we head over to the table. The same is true for under the bus. We don't wanna continue easing in underneath the bus. We want here at the waistline to really truly be one-to-one -one in the length of the stitch line on both the center front and the side panel. So we wanna stop that easing right under the bust and just easing in as we crest. And you can see here that it's a really nice soft transition. Even though we have a seam running down here, we have no kind of angle or edge or sharp pointy seam as we're rounding down through the garment. So here I have my center front and my side panel, and I'm just gonna start by pinning them together from the bottom, since I know that I want this stitch line to be kind of one-to-one -one as it comes up. I'm just gonna throw a couple pins in. I have this uh, lining stabilized, so it's a satin lining that I'm using, 
and I've stabilized it with a stitching interfacing. So I've just basted the two layers together with the machine. So right here, right under the bust is where we want to start that easing. So, so I'm going to start by putting a pin here at the top and I'm just going to line up my stitch lines so that the stitch lines where I'm going to stitch this princess seam close, that that is where these two pieces line up. So I have a nice smooth transition. You'll notice here that the seam allowance is a little bit offset. And then I can go and see how much I can get eased in. So you can see already that it's bubbling a little bit. The length that I have for the, the side panel and actually, because we're working with a convex curve here around the bust, we do have more length on the outer edge of our seam allowance than we will along the stitch line. So there's that to work with as well. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of play with this material. I'm going to spread that extra out so it's not all in one place. If you have too much in one place, you'll actually get kind of a gather or a pleat in your stitch line where it attaches and we don't want that we want it to be a nice smooth seam and we don't want anyone to know that we have that extra length so we don't want uh, a pucker or a pleat at all along the length so you just want to play with it a little bit until you get that extra length spread out and this is where you'll see if you have added too much if you can't get it to lay nicely and pin along where you want to stitch it without uh, creating kind of a bulge or a pucker, then you might want to slide out a little extra out the top. But if you can get it to lay flat, just like I have here, then you're good to go and you can just close this up. So I'm going to pop over to the machine and zip this closed. I absolutely love this technique. I just want to see here quick what this looks like. You can see here that we've got our extra length. So what I'm going to do is just press that with the iron to flatten it out. And then I'm going to divide my seam allowances, spread them and press them. But let's take a look at how this looks on the inside. I did go ahead and stitch the other side without easing it so we could compare them. Both sides aren't pressed yet. So this is the side that isn't eased at all. And when you look, especially from the top, so here we have our sweetheart. And when we look down at the bust from the top, you see this is a very sharp corner where the two come together over the bust. And this is gonna make your bust feel pointy and uh, just have a little bit of extra bulk. Now, when we transfer over to this side where we've eased it together, even without pressing it, you can already see that we have a more of a softer transition. You don't have that angle uh, as it rounds over the bust. It is still um, rounded out to give that fullness that we need over the bust, but it's a softer transition uh, through that seam and it's softer even uh, up and down. If we can look at it sideways, we have a softer transition this way as well as uh, from the top across. So this will just help your garments feel closer to your body and not give you that pointy bust feeling with a princess. Now, whenever you're easing something together, you might have noticed here that I had the extra fabric. So uh, the side panel that had the extra length in it, I had that up just so I could control better that I wasn't putting any pleats in it as it is quite tricky over the rounding, this convex curve from the side panel uh, whereas that center just has a slight curve to it. So getting these two totally different shapes together can be a little bit tricky. However, if you're finding that that's not working for you, it's sometimes easier, and this is how I, I often do it on a straight edge where I'm easing it together, is I put that extra material underneath and have the shorter layer on top as I feed it through the machine for two reasons. One is the feed dogs kind of help um, drag in that extra length that you have on the bottom. So that can be helpful to ease the material together. The other thing is, is even before it goes under the pressure foot, if you have extra length, you can use that top layer and just uh, massage it a little bit and get that extra length to just kind of mesh in and blend in uh, so that it's nice and smooth 
before it even feeds under the feed dog and that shorter layer kind of helps keep it in place and you know the length that you need that under uh, layer the longer piece to shrink down to as you can measure it with that shorter layer on top so you can play with that as well if uh, one way is easier than the other way for you uh, then go with that for sure so there you have it the secret to having a beautiful princess seam each and every time is simply to ease in that side panel check your pattern before you get started the stitch line length of the adjoining seams here from your front middle and your side panel to see if you have that little bit of extra just to ease in over the bust. If you don't, simply just add a little extra length as uh, you when you cut it out, bring it up, bring up that corner just a tiny little bit and just cut it a little bit higher. That's something that you can always trim off if you add too much, uh, but this will give you the extra room and fullness to just round out over the bust. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Workshop Wednesday. As always, you can join my Facebook group, Sew with Chelsea, for more insight and tips and to stay up to date. I also do have an announcement post in that group where you can join my email list as that is the number one best place always to stay in touch with me, ask questions, and to stay up to date with all of the classes that I teach or events that I'm hosting. So until next week, take care and happy sewing.